Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where today we are going to be doing a simple painted makeover on this end table. Now this is going to play into something that we're planning for the future. We're planning on doing a bedroom makeover uh, and kind of getting some new pieces, refinishing some pieces and just getting kind of a whole project together. So this is one of the pieces we're planning on adding into that at some point. So while it may be a simple painted makeover, uh, it's going to serve a much larger purpose in the future. So if you want to see how this little end table turns out, make sure you stick around. So I referred to this as an end table in the intro, but it's actually a nightstand. So what can you do? Uh, the first thing I do, as always, is just kind of clean everything out. Uh, give the piece a nice wiping down with uh, Dawn dish soap and water and take off the hardware. And after it's completely dry, I take some Bondo and fill in all of these deep scratches and gouges. And I also just fill in the existing holes on the drawer here because I'm gonna end up drilling one hole for one pull. And then I sand the filled in spot smooth, but I also give a nice scuff sanding to the entire piece. Now, as you'll be able to see here, as I'm wiping it, all the dust off with a, a damp cloth, um, you'll be able to kind of see a lot of the red finish on the rag. And this piece would definitely be a bleeder. Um, now, it's good practice to always prime your piece when you can anyway, um, but this piece in particular is gonna be a bleeder, so we definitely need to prime it. And for the primer, I'm just using uh, the Rust-Oleum spray primer that you've seen me use in the past. Uh, I usually use the red, but um, for this one, I only had gray left. Uh, it's the same spray paint, it's just a different color. And I just go with a sanding pad and sand the primer layer nice and smooth to get a nice smooth surface for our paint. And for this we are using Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Raw Silk. Thank you. 
after the first coat, I uh, just take a sanding pad, very high grit, and just go over the whole thing, sand down some of the roughness, uh, because we're gonna at least need a second coat, if not possibly a third coat, uh, with some of these uh, white colors and lighter colors. Sometimes you do need to go back with a third coat um, if it's not you know, covering completely well. Uh, but e after each coat, it's just a good practice to go over and sand your surface nice and smooth. And as you can see here, there's a little bit of bleed through yet, even with the primer in this little corner. So I'm just gonna go back with a shellac and just hit that corner a little bit for the next coat of paint so that way it covers it up nicely. And then we do coat number two. And as you can see, we went back over with a third coat. Uh, there was, you know, still some spots that weren't fully covered. Um, so, you know, a little, little bit showing through here and there. So we gave it a full third coat to give it nice coverage. And last, I'm just gonna mark where I need the hole for my new knob. And drill it out. And we just used a nice, simple, antique style glass knob for this piece. And just as a reminder, here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. So thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button before you leave. We'd love for you to stick around and we'll see you next time.